Hello, and welcome back to Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. We're going to take a short time out from the Wu campaign to do a little something special. But first, I want to show you what I did to my, um, my crew based off the RCO and show you exactly what I changed after dealing with the first campaign of, of the game. So let's go to here with our custom characters. And we have the following. We have my character, which is Which is um, unmatched under heaven. I know it's 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 quite funny. And I haven't used them yet, but in a moment we will. Then we have my my empire's character, which I am going to use in one of these special um. The special campaigns. It's my. This is going to be my Empire's character for the special campaign. Which is Ichigo. His way of life is trustworthy hero. Of course, he's a samurai, as, as well as you can tell. I based him after Mach Hall. The splendid Mach Hall. And then we have my alter ego, the Tenkaichi. Who is also a trustworthy hero. I base him off Jotai. So, um, hopefully he doesn't break the level. Again. Because the first time I actually tried this, I actually had like a three, a three or five star weapon. It was a high level weapon. And, um, what happened was I was trying to do like, um, an invasion, defense, and I think it was defense. So I used him, and all of a sudden I broke the game because of that single powerful weapon, which is like um like a five star weapon, a five star maybe a six star weapon. But yeah, the lo the the special weapons you don't really have to work so hard into getting it. I know, it, it, I know it's a sad thing, but is it really that sad that you don't have to do all that hard work just to just to get um your level one weapons, your level two weapons, three, and so forth? Even the even the three even the even the star weapons don't have to do that much. All you have to do is just keep racking in bonus points, and you can just basically just buy them. Anyway, moving on. We have Ryu's character, who is a little warrior. And I based him off of Zhao Yun, since that's his favorite character. And he too is a loyal warrior. So therefore... For posterity's sake, I made him into a ninja. Because he don't like showing himself on camera. So, in response to that, there you go. We've covered his face, we covered his face in blue clad, and we have Ryu from Breath of Fire, the ninja. I really should change up who she is. Let me see, can I do that? Okay, we got Sheena, who is also a trustworthy hero. I think I could change that. Let me give her, let's see, her way of life, way of life. And mind you, all the tiles I'm getting, these are like, technically, all the tiles I'm getting within the game. There's 
nothing else I can possibly give her. Well, we are. Yeah, she and this character, like I said, I've pretty much made. I just basically had to just picture her, what would she look like if she was in this universe. And this is what I came up with. Big! Oh, big. Yes, our good friend Big Fay Plus. Well, I base him after Zushu, since that's his favorite character. And um, I'm going to change his way of life to something that kind of makes sense. There you go, Big. You are now a Raging Commander. Be proud of yourself. <laughs> yes, he's a Raging Commander, yo. He's a Raging Commander. Besides, his Rage Attack is that of Meng Huo. Come on now. Meng Huo? And he's based off his Zushu? Come on, yo. Come on. That's unmitigated power right there. I'm telling you, unmitigated power. And then we have our friend Magma WK with his precise intellect since he's so so refined. We made we we put in the image of him being some somehow close to being Zhang Jiao. And, yeah, that means his namesake means it all. Since he's just going to be lobbing off on um, crazy ass fireballs to faces and armies of one. Hell, he played Dragon Force, for God's sake. I'm giving him a lot of credit for that. <laughs> because, you know, why not? You know, why the fuck not, you know? It was awesome. And next we have a 40 warrior. And I put him into the, um, how should I say this? I cast him as Zhou Yu because, well, he's the only person who actually has a bat. And the way the staff is, it's more, more like a bat than anything else. Because, why the fuck not? You know, seriously, why the fuck not? It's like, chaotic turbulence, ground burst, a divine emperor formation. Yeah, I think that should say something right there. Do not mess with a dude who has a stick and can call forth the very essence of Earth itself, okay? He's a trustworthy hero of the voice of an optimist. So... I'm just going by how we all act. That's how I'm doing this. I'm doing this on how we all act. And then we have Yiska. Which almost looks like um, Guan Yu Na. Except that the difference here is Yiska likes explosions. So, that and she's somewhat of a farmer. So we gave her a rake. But this rake is not for what you might think it is. This rake is for ripping the faces of enemies. So of course, we give her nothing but explosion modes. Fire God Dance, Drill Bombardment. A bombardier, and her rage is that, and her rage attack is that of Jaffo Ba. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't make one for MB? I could, but the thing is, I would have to do it off camera. So therefore. 
Yeah. Closest thing about it, come on, man. Uh, <laughs> it's not like he's not he's not a good friend. I'm just telling you. The idea of having my head so fucked up, it, you know, you don't want me to pull it out. You're just gonna have to wait till later. Plus, you can only fit only eight people into one unit, so therefore, there's that too. And then we have Snorlax. Who has not much to say. And I put him into the mindset of Zhang Fei. Since he's a loyal warrior, he's kind of silent. His voice is kind of silent, but God damn that power. God damn that power. So, of course. We are actually going to go and do this right now. We are actually going to do the Great Parcio War. Finger slip. How did it first start off? Well, it started off in a raid. So, we're actually going to do this like so. It all happened in one place, and that is Cheng Sha. I just happen to be in the neighborhood. Oh, God, look at that. Yeah, that's not gonna work. This twelve thousand versus that? No, that, that ain't gonna happen. But we're gonna try. Oh, Jesus Christ! That that's too powerful. Let me let me just down that a bit, like so. Green Dragon, thank you. Yeah, see, I, I'm telling you, it was like, Godly Dragon, that's you too. So my secondary weapon, of course, would be a sword, but the thing about the sword is, so damnable weak. So, we're gonna go with a great sword. Let's do this. We can do this. I'm pretty sure we can do this.
Got my level three weapon ready for the kill. Good lord, this ain't gonna work. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. I'm dead. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I mean, look at that. It's like 8,000 versus... No, that's not gonna work. Okay? <laughs> no. It never happened with a raid. The raid stunk, so... What really went down, ladies and gentlemen? It all happened at the same place, but it never happened like a raid. Because that raid just said, fuck you, up the ass, that shit ain't not gonna happen. So after all this, we decided to go in. Each and every freaking one of us. Now, those who were defending, well, they were of the following people. People that we kind of liked and we kind of didn't like. People we did not expect to be there, but they showed up anyway because fuck you, that's why. We did not expect so many people to show up that one day. And yes, believe it or not, yes. <laughs> New Sean is carrying around a tape. We did not expect that many people to show up that day, but god damn. We did not expect this dude to show up. Nor did we expect much of anybody else to actually show up and... We all had to ask, why the hell did you show up? We were just wondering why, why of all things did you have to show up in the worst possible time? And then for no reason, this douchebag just showed up.
Then this shit happened. So what we did was we took we took aim with our weapons. And we're gonna whip their ass. Like so. I should have made myself the commander. What the fuck's wrong with me? Never mind. Okay, she was the acting commander that day. Get the hell out of here. It's Sheena. She likes to bark orders, okay? Well, I'm the one working, so therefore somebody has to. Someone has to yell. Might as well be her. The most times she likes to yell. Hey, Forty. Forty has learned much from Ryu Hayabusa. There goes Sheena. There goes Mag. Yes, you know, you, you know you're reading it right. Sure there is, man. Sure there is. So, Zushu came by and got his ass handed to us. It really wasn't a good day for him since he wanted to make some rice patties.
size. You must be crazy if you think I'm going to take take something like a raid on by myself. Yes, we're still here. Me and my five o'clock shadow. Thanks, big. That, that's fine for you. Just, just keep fighting, okay? Just don't look at me like that. Really, sir? That shit was uncalled for. Buster Sword! I am not Cloud Strife! Damn it, big! I'm the guy that just like to work sometimes. Oh, you going how's it going? We're gonna have to save a squirrel in, in distress. I don't know how that works, but okay. You'll be fine, big. Don't worry. He really would say that. He really would do that. I got you, man. Look at me, you asshole. I can imagine my viewers saying that. But my friends...
All right, Long Ranger, hold on. Hold on, let me, let me help you out a bit. Let me... Good freaking lord! Let me get off, let me get off, let me get off. Oh. Friends are always right beside me, man. Yes! You're covered. Well, I'm glad you wanted to chase me, Lou Boo. I didn't ever want to be chased by another man before. way out there like that, man. Good job, Forty. Damn it, Shannon, nobody didn't tell you what it mm, never mind. Never freaking mind. We've occupied this place since then. We made it our home. We kind of took out the jackasses that were basically, you know, making this place a mess. So, therefore, we kind of cleaned up the place and then made it our own. Then they came back. So it was my turn to basically become the commander. Take matters to my own hands. So the RCO decided enough was enough. Enough was enough. We're going to take matters into our own hands and we're going to protect our home at Changsha.
Made a lot of ramen and pizza places there. So on this day, I decided now's a good now's a good day to pull out some bullshit and hopefully not break the game. Oh, hi there. Well, um, you're gonna do what, sir? What were you about to do, sir? Good, you know. A base for your RCO, you know, we had everything. Now, do we ain't strip mining anything like that? No, no. All we did was made our own. Yeah, that's nice for you, just don't get too close, man. It's an honor to kick your ass. Nice meeting you. Back at you, man. Back at you. Sorry, I'm spoken for. Thank you. Only in this world can I can say I am a man among men. Really? Really? It's over already.
回回ったみたいだなここから逆転してやろうぜ Wow, really? Okay! Proof, proof right there that the RCO can whip the asses of many a man and woman when necessary. So, with that, I don't know how well that was. But <laughs> it wasn't much of an invasion or a defense. Like, oh, all of a sudden, boom. Okay, we ran, ran him off. Um, thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot, Ryu. Ran that douchebag right off the fucking lap. Thanks, man. It is a great big favor right there. <laughs> okay, so that was... That was the great RCO war, trust me, when I actually do the actual campaign. All the members of the RCO are going to be used. And I mean, trust me, they are going to be used. So with that, when we come back, we're going back to um, the Wu campaign and continue to ass whipping from there. So I've been the Tenkai Ichi of Gaming, and this was the Great RCO War. I'll see you next time with more videos. Have a great weekend, everybody.